Well, Ollie Bear and I are just getting to the burn. Uh, big day of training going on. It's always, I always look forward to days like today, especially when you've had such a chaotic week. And listen, many of you know that I kind of live on chaos, right? Uh, a lot of the times, especially in the summer, I fly by the seat of my pants and I don't, I don't get try, I don't try to get too um, bottled down with, uh, bogged down with, with uh, structure sometimes. But this week, it's it's been trying. So um, I always look forward to days like this. Training the babies always uh, keeps my focus, uh, keeps my attention, and uh, hopefully lifts me up after the day. Um, I had a number of people asking me today, uh, Anthony, we got some scratches. Just want to go over them with you, just to let you know what's going on. I think, I guess, the word of the of the last two years is protocols. The protocols that we've put in place to ensure the horses stay sound and early, I guess, early intervention in any sort of issues has played has played a, a wonderful role. Those of you that have been with us for a while have watched us over the last five years, the different way we treat horses, the way we learn and change. And even last year, we had horses that needed operations quite a bit more, that needed things done quite a bit more, that had days where they were off because they were a little pinchy. And I think we put it together where, uh, you know, if we start to see signs, we investigate it immediately, uh, put the horse in, in three three weeks in the stall, three weeks in the pool, and it's worked well twice so far. We're going to keep an eye on how that rolls over the next couple of months. But five horses that aren't that aren't training today, I'm going to give you them right now. Twin B have an arrow. He's swimming right now in ref in reference to uh, the, the protocols that we had talked about as far as early. I would say early intervention protocols. How's that? Um, oh, I forgot Chris's hot chocolate. He's going to kill me. I am going to have to. James forgot Curtis's hot. So Curtis does the drone. James forgot the hot chocolate. Then I forgot the hot chocolate. Oh my god. Um, I have to go to Tim Hortons. Um, Twin Be Have an Arrow. No, yeah, I'll send somebody. It's okay. Twin Be Have an Arrow. Uh, Ollie. Ollie. Twin Be Have an Arrow is uh is swimming right now, so he's not here today. Duke Dio. Duke Dio is in the last week in the stall. And then he is going to begin swimming. Uh, he is going to begin swimming next week. Um, three point blue chip. Just had some splinch crowd on him. He doesn't need any time off. His fluoroscope was great. Uh, his fluoroscope was great. Uh, unbeatable Kemp. Curbs also crowd with him. No big deal. No time off. Just not going today. And then Rosie's masterpiece. Uh, very similar uh, approach and prognosis as her to eyes of 10 injected her knees uh, her knees were a little rough looking not bad a little rough looking though injected the knees and uh, she is gonna miss today and Wednesday her first training trip back will be next Saturday so all these things have worked well just wanted to give you guys an update on what we're doing why we're doing it and why the horses are here today so five that's ten Anthony. five are scratched today um, but no concerns with those five at all take care